before you start seeing your work, you will find it harder to stay around people who don't. Facts. Hey, Shalom. Our oh, praises to you. How about Shem? You have a shy about Shem Rekha Much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. All you uh, brothers that have been redeemed, all you brothers that are part of this new covenant that can understand it because the new covenant was um, established in the first century. It's just been uh, covered up by the false prophets of our people. And um, what you have going on now is, is, is men mixing the new and the old together which the Lord told you not to do. Um, I'm going to go to, I got a couple things I just was thinking about. Um, I don't want to read what the Lord said. You can't have two masters. Uh, the thing about the, the, the new covenant law is that the Lord took over all the ceremonial laws. So you would, you would have, Instead of a day of atonement, you will be atoned eternally. Instead of a day of the Passover, you'll be passed over eternally. So you will be in the eternal rest. And this is all in the mind. This is in the spirit now. It is much more easier. You know, all the, the dietary laws and don't commit adultery and, and all the all the other laws. You, when you're in the spirit, you're just not going to do certain things. That's why a lot of guys, they don't understand what um, what what being in the spirit is because guys are in the flesh. So they, they're thinking of something else. That's why you got camps and guys, they say that they need new bodies. And you got guys that's that's not in the spirit telling you that you have to keep the old and the new not understanding that you're mixing it to, you're mixing the two together by not um identifying that the new is superior you need to follow your how shy and us brothers that's of the spirit and, and you out there of the spirit you, nobody has to tell you not to commit adultery or nobody has to tell you what foods you shouldn't eat the New covenant is a is a new upgrade. A lot of you are not able to upgrade to the new covenant. You can't put new wine on old bottles. So this is part of the um, understanding too that a lot of guys don't got it. They don't have the the understanding that the two are not to be mixed together. Like you're keeping both. Now, if you want to keep a, a particular day and say it's your Sabbath, that's that's on you. But as far as you teaching men that um, the new and the old are the same, they're not the same according to Romans 8. Romans 8 is the perfect chapter to show you that the old is of the flesh and the new is of the spirit. And a lot of will disagree. A lot of men will disagree. But the thing is, a lot of men are not even of the spirit. So they, they don't even understand um, they wouldn't even be able to even understand where you're coming from. And that's what we that and that's why in these last days um, it was going to be so much um uh, there was going to be so many false prophets and so many, so much false doctrine out there. But the elect, you won't deceive the very elect. That's what the scriptures say in Matthews. Let me read this real quick. So guys may be deceiving a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? But they're not deceiving the elect, which understand the difference between the two covenants. They're not the same. You know, you got reprobates out here that say, hey, they're, they're the same covenant. It's the same. No, it's not the same. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. Well, then why would the Lord come to uh, do away with that law if it was the same as the new law? You know, if it was the same, then the Lord didn't have, wouldn't have to come and do away with it. So what you have in this time 
is uh just men um creeping in not having an understanding you know they creep in thinking they know in the bible you know they may know certain things but the overall understanding of the new covenant and how is it has it actually structured and, and and who is it actually for they can't see so you have guys that don't like i say they don't understand who we really are because it was the same way with the lord when you go back to john 8 9 and 10 when you go back to john 10 i think 11 too when he was doing all those healings and then these were direct discourse with the uh with the jews which did not accept the lord in his doctrine at all they didn't men say that he was a devil they say he was a blasphemer they call him the the prince of devils they call him beelzebub they call the lord beelzebub so imagine how guys is, is saying that we are this and we are that in these last days, they did not like how the Lord was teaching and healing. They did not agree with the Lord at all. They were all for Moses. They were they were for Moses. And that's how guys are. They can't let Moses go. Because because you have some guys, they have to be seen in garments and then that's that's on you. But those new, those old covenant garments don't have nothing to do with the righteousness of Yahweh Shai. And the scripture tell you, by you not um, truly holy believing in Yahweh Shai and you mixing the old with the new, you make Yahweh Shai of none effect unto you. That's what you do. This is Matthew 24 and 24. For there shall arise false anointings and false prophets. It shall sow signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, we understand this scripture uh, way more deeper. Because the majority of guys, they're not of the elect. They're stuck on Moses. They're stuck in camps. And then you got reprobates that's not in camps that that's not really that don't really truly have the understanding of the new covenant. They're mixing them together. They say they, they're they both the same. That's that's more reprobate shit. That's not the same. Well, the Lord wouldn't have to come and die. It's not an extension. It's, this is a new thing. They said, what new doctrine is this? They didn't accept the Lord when you go to the New Testament, man. That's why a lot of you guys, you fail to fucking realize, man, they did not. They did not accept Yahweh Shai bringing that new covenant teaching in that first century. They did not accept that. And a lot of you guys are not wholly accepting it. That means you're not of it. Even guys in the new covenant that say they're teaching <laughs> But you're not fooling nobody but guys that don't, that's just like you, that's blind and carnal. See, we don't we don't need a carnal law to tell us certain things that we shouldn't do, us brothers that's in the spirit. That's the difference. And the, the old law of Moses, it was glorious. You see, but that that law is done away with in and 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 much as the ceremonial part. Now the 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 part where you have somebody had to tell you. Uh, you had to eat and don't commit adultery and don't do all these other things. That's for you guys. That's of the flesh. Because that that law wasn't made for righteous men. That's going to do the right thing. That's that's made for guys that don't have no fucking that that's lawless and brute beast. You have to tell them what to eat and what not to do. Don't sleep with somebody's wife and this, that and the third. <laughs> but you cannot keep that law. So like if you break one of those laws of the old covenant, you break them all. So it's crazy, guys, teaching you to keep the old and the new together. That's why guys are all fucking mixed up. So the new covenant is only for those that have that, that new downgrade, that new upgrade. So you're not going to deceive ones that are of a higher mind. That's of the spirit. Everything is of the spirit. And that's all you have to do is repent and believe. What's so hard about that? Before the Lord would heal men, he would ask them, do thou believe? So all you guys going back to uh, Moses, you make that, uh, 
your how shy become no effect under you so you're not really under your how shy as you say you are because you're not letting moses go because <laughs> you don't understand that they're not the same the old covenant is not an extension <laughs> it's more reformation that all that says is that guys are teaching things that they don't understand like the scripture tell you guys don't understand certain shit and the lord set it up that way and that's what we have to understand too the lord actually set up certain things where guys would not get it and so we're blessed if we could totally understand it because when you totally understand it then you're going to be hated by a lot of people that don't have an understanding and one of the things is uh the cut the cuss words i just want to say this the cuss words of today don't apply to how they were speaking back in the ancient times. So we might say shit, fuck, damn, and we might say these words, but they don't have nothing to do with being corrupt communication or filthy words. The only corrupt communications pursuant to uh, Colossians, I think it's three, is lies. So when you say the new covenant is the same as the old, that's a lie. When you say you need new bodies to be in the new covenant, that's a lie. When you say um, you have to keep the old covenant with the new covenant, that's a lie. That's corrupt communication because Yahweh Shai is over the old law. You can't have two masters. Galatians uh, 5 and 3, it says, For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is adapted to do the whole law. So if you're wearing old covenant garments and then you're telling men to keep the old covenant, you got to do the whole old covenant. All right. All right. If you're mixing the two covenants. It says the anointing has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever. Of you are justified by the law. ye are falling from grace. You see that? It says, for we, it says, for we through the spirit wait for the hope of the righteousness by faith. For in Yahweh shall Mashiach neither circumcision avail of anything nor uncircumcision, but faith which is work of by love. All right. Let me read that again. Galatians 5 and 4, but. It says, the anointed, Yahweh Shai, has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever are you are justified by the law. So you guys think that they're wearing their garments. See, this thing is all about the old covenant with these guys that's of the old covenant. They're of the old covenant. So their whole thing is keeping the old covenant because they're of it. And this is what we have to understand. And the, one of the brothers put the comment on the comment board this new covenant a lot of guys are not really allowed in it if you're of the world you're not allowed in the third covenant through the spirit so through the spirit you won't totally understand the new covenant so you won't totally follow it you'll be stuck in the old like these camps they're all of the old covenant they're waiting they're on a waiting list because they don't have it yet remember the scripture tell you that certain men were predestined so certain men were predestined to understand and to be of it why the majority of you fucking guys were not predestined and to be of the new covenant. Matthew uh, 6 and 24 says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other. You see that? So you, either you're going to hate one or you're going to love the other. So what we're saying is a lot of guys love that old covenant because they don't understand it. It's crazy, man. Guys don't have... Really, this ain't even for guys, man. I'm teaching this for brothers that can understand the new covenant. And guys that come over here that don't even have the fucking understanding, they get mad at us because the Lord didn't bless you to understand what we understand. All right, so this ain't for just average brute beasts that's trying to mix the two together, that don't have a fucking understanding, that don't understand that Moses faded away in the transfiguration when that when he fit when he faded away that means all the power went to the lord so the lord is over everything now what heals you is the lord them them, them wicked scribes and the pharisees 
even in the book of Acts, Peter and them were healing men through Yahweh Shai. The ones in uh that was in the synagogues in Acts that was under the old law of Moses, they weren't healing nobody. But as soon as Peter and the Lord and them started healing people, then it was a problem. Because the synagogues and the motherfuckers that was holding you under the law of Moses, that law wasn't healing anybody anymore. So a lot of you guys, you don't have any understanding. And 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 that's the thing, it's like we can we're teaching this to the ones that are actually of it. And a lot of you guys are not of it. You got problems with us because you're not of it. Because Moses is not of it. You see? <laughs> Moses is not of the new law. He didn't make it to the promise. And a lot of you guys ain't going to make it because a lot of you guys are, are truly disciples of Moses at heart. You see, every time you put an old covenant garment on and you're telling men that you're not in the new covenant or certain guys telling you you have to keep the old and new, you're all disciples of Moses. You have to see this through the spirit, even though they say they're teaching, even though they're saying they're teaching the Lord, they've made Yahweh Shai have none effect unto them, especially guys in these camps and you guys that say you teach a new covenant, you're not really making it known that the two covenants are different. You got guys saying that they're the same covenant. This <laughs> is reprobate shit. That's why we depart, guys, man. Guys are of the world. They just want to be seen. With no understanding, man, it's heavy. They're not seeing this thing with their heart because they don't have a heart to see. Guys are carnal, man. Matthew 6 and uh, 24 says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. So you can't serve two covenants. And you can't serve money and, and the Lord at the same time. So I want to go to this real quick. I think it's John 10. These guys, uh, they hated the Lord, the Jews in the synagogue. They actually hated the Lord teaching that new covenant. Just like a lot of guys, they hate us teaching the new covenant. Because the only ones they're, um, they're fooling in this time is guys like them. John 10 and um, 24. It says, then the Jews, it says, then came the Jews around him and said unto him, how long does thou make us to doubt if thou be the anointed? Tell us plainly. You see that? See, these guys are all in the spirit of doubt. That's how a lot of guys are in these camps. They're in the spirit of doubt. They don't even really believe in this. So at this point, the Lord was doing like so many different works. And the thing about the works that he was doing, that was showing you who he, who he was. This is what he started explaining to them. The work show you who, who the Lord was. And the particular works that we're doing. See, that's, it was, uh, I forgot what chapter, when the Lord was uh, healing that, that girl and they laughed him to scorn. So that's why he, he put their ass out of there. And then he was able to heal a girl. So a lot of you guys that don't really believe, you're not going to see anything. All you carnal motherfuckers that's asking to see something. Or waiting for a sign or waiting on new bodies. You're not going to see anything. You, you have made Yahweh Shai of none effect unto you because you're hooked on Moses. That's what's happening in these last days. And the, the flesh wolf against the spirit. So the old brothers, us few brothers that's of the new covenant is at war against you guys that are of Moses. That's heavy. It's heavy, man. John 10 and um, 25. And Yahweh Shai answered and told him, I told you and ye believe not. The works that I do in my father's name, they bear witness of me. If you believe not because you are not of my sheep as I have told you. That's right. So a lot of guys that don't fully believe 
in the new covenant, they're not of the Lord. I don't even I don't care if they're teaching the news all day or if they got camp doctrine or they stand out in, in, in 10, 15 different garments. They're not of the Lord. You have to see he have to see guys, the, them old covenant garments that has nothing to do with you. How shy. So guys that are wearing those old covenant garments, they're in the old covenant mind frame, mixing you how shy in there. They're mixing two garments. They're, guys are not making it known that the new covenant is superior, that the new covenant is over the old covenant, that they're different. This is where the difference in doctrine comes in that. And guys think that they're teaching the new covenant. Well, what you're doing, you're mixing them two. So you're not really teaching the new covenant. I don't know what the fuck you guys think you're doing. You're just bringing confusion. So the Lord said, you're not of my fold. And it's being made clear and clear and clear and clear, real clear. It says, my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. So guys, are, the ones that are of Yahushai, they're following the spirit of Yahushai. It's not even really us. They're just following the spirit where the Lord is being taught correctly. Because that's where the spirit is. It says, and I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. The ones that belong unto God. For my father gave them me is greater than all. And no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Then this is for the election that are going to understand. I am my father. I want. Then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. You see what spirit guys are in? They're in a hateful spirit. Because they're disciples of Moses. And how shall I say unto them, many good works have I showed you from my father, for which of these works do ye stone me? And the Jews answered him, saying, For a good work we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. And because thou, being a man, maketh himself God. Let me read this again. Now check this out. The Jews answered him saying, for a good work, we stone thee not, but for blasphemy. Right. So a lot of guys think we're teaching blasphemy because we're against the old covenant. And you will see how guys are. Guys literally hate what we're teaching because we're leaving the old law of Moses out. So if we didn't leave the old Moses out, we wouldn't be really teaching the new covenant. <laughs> you see? We're not adding the we're not teaching the new covenant and old covenant garments. We're not standing on the street telling you you got to keep the old law of Moses. We understand that the Lord brought something different for Moses. And even Moses fucking understood that the, the Lord was going to bring something different. But you guys can't understand that because according to Zechariah 13 and 8, two thirds of our people have been cut off from the spirit and understanding. So in this time, a lot of people will not be able to understand the new covenant. It is not for them. And this is what the Lord is explaining to them. That the ones that he, that the Lord, that you can't pluck out of the Lord's hand, they have eternal life. And they knew they didn't have eternal life. That's why they wanted to fucking stone him. They knew that they wasn't of him. Heavy, man. It says the Jew, John 10 and 33, it says the Jews answered him saying, for a good work we stone thee not. But for blasphemy, and because that thou, being a man, make of himself a God. And Yahweh Shai again answered them and said, It is not written in your law. I say, Ye are gods. All right, so it's written that we are gods. I think it's written in Psalms, I think. Uh, I think it's written in, in, in that old law, too. Like the Lord said, is it, Isn't it written in your law that you are gods? <laughs> so. They don't even know their old law. Guys are fucking hypocrites. And just like guys don't understand that Moses told you to follow the Lord when he comes. So you got to stop following Moses like that when the Lord comes. A lot of you guys have been cut off from that understanding. That's what I'm that's what I'm telling you. A lot of you've been cut off from really understanding that you really got to follow the Lord and let that old shit go. But you guys are of the old. The Lord cut your understanding off. It says, if he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, the scripture cannot be broken. That's right. So ye of him whom the father has sanctified and sent to the world, thou blasphemest because I said I am a son of God. 
if I do the works of my father, believe me not. It says, if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. But if I do, thou believe not me, believe the works. So don't believe us. Believe what? The works that we're doing. Because us and a few brothers, we have works of different understanding than everybody. We're giving you different understanding than everybody. And our works is really making a difference because a lot of guys hate what we're doing. And a lot of people love what we're doing. So that was a division. <laughs> you know, even certain guys in the synagogue, they sneak over here like Nicodemus. So they were saying the Lord blas was blaspheming. It says, if I do a works of my father, if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. But if I do, thou ye believe not me, believe the works that ye may know and believe that the works that the father is in me and I in him. So Yahweh Shai is in certain of us. And Yahweh Shai was not teaching you to go back to the old law of Moses. He was fulfilling the law of Moses. He became the law. Now Yahweh Shai is the master. Not, not they're the same or uh, as an extension of it. Get the hell out of here, man. Are you fucking guys that don't have no understanding? It says, therefore they sought again to take him, but he escaped out of their hands. So their whole thing was to kill the Lord for him teaching what he was teaching, man. It's heavy. It says, and went away again beyond Jordan to the place where John at first baptized and there he abode and many resorted unto him and said, John did, did no miracle, but all things that John spoke of this man were true. And many believed on them there. That's why the Lord said in the last day, I'll raise you up. And that's what's happening. We're being raised up and understanding. So we're displaying a certain type of uh, understanding in these days. That's, that's what's happening. So a lot of guys are making Yahweh Shai have no effect unto them because they're stuck on Moses. Because if you, you say you're keeping the law, you got to keep the whole law. But uh, but these, what's heavy is these camps. They're not even under the new covenant. You see what I'm saying? So they're still under the schoolmaster teaching that they're waiting on new bodies. And you got guys in the new covenant trying to hold you in the old law because they don't have nothing to do with the new covenant. They're mixing the new with the old. So you have to be able to see this thing for what it is. And a lot of guys, they're just all over the place. So you got to understand that a lot of guys, Yahweh Shai has become no effect unto them. They, a lot of guys have fallen from grace. And when you have grace, grace is favor. So favor gives you understanding. So when you fall from the grace, you don't have favor. That means you don't have no understanding. So let me get out of here, man. I speak with you, brother, uh, you brothers a little bit later. But a lot of guys have fallen from grace because they they cannot leave Moses alone. <laughs> oh my goodness man but that's good for you it's prophesied that a lot of our people will not understand this like that and it, it is actually beautiful it really is man but for you brothers that can understand man continue to learn and continue to grow under the grace of your house shy which gives you that understanding with that repent to the new covenant with that a shalom